Good afternoon, Darren with Bellevue Fitness Training here, demonstrating my Life Pro Fitness Sonic massage gun that I got, um, and how I use it with some of my clients. So my lovely assistant Kevin over here is going to be um, just a lifeless fish on the table. While I work on his hip, he has some uh, kind of sciatica type symptoms that he's had in the past. So I'm going to work on. Um, kind of the, the quadratus lumborum muscle, which is on the outer part of the low back, and glute medius and minimus on the hip, and see if we can kind of increase his range of motion a little bit and get rid of some of the tightness and negative sensations that he sometimes complains about. So let's see how the sonic gun does. So I'm just gonna have you bend this knee, this one. This one, does that feel like too much of a stretch or is that okay? No, that's okay. Do you get any pain? No. And that comes down, okay. So we're gonna work this in the shortened position up here with the massage gun. Then we're just gonna do a little contract, relax, isometric. And then we're gonna work with the massage gun again in the lengthened position, okay? Okay. okay. Let me know at any point if something doesn't feel okay. good. You got it. Okay. So I'm just working kind of by the behind the upper part of the femur, over the top of the upper part of the femur, and a little bit in the front of the femur and the hip. Trying to get a muscle usually referred to as the TFL, tensor fascial lata. Aside from the sciatica stuff, a lot of times when people have IT band pain or what is diagnosed as IT band pain is really stuff going on in the glute max and the TFL because those two muscles. Uh, tie into the, the IT band. The IT band is basically the tendon for the glute max and the TFL. And so usually if that's tight, it's actually because the TFL is tight more so than the IT band itself. The IT band is actually supposed to be tight. It's not supposed to stretch or change length. It's just transmit, it transmits the force from the TFL or glute max uh, down toward the knee. If you actually dissected a cadaver and you took off the IT band and you tied it to two things going in opposite directions, it will just tear and snap before it actually stretches. So anyone who thinks they're stretching their IT band is mistaken. do a little isometric so push up into my hand for five seconds five four three two one and relax and push five four three two one and relax push five four three two one relax push five four three two, one, relax. And one more time, push. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. So now we're gonna lengthen that glute medius and minimus area on the side of the hip. Try to keep that bent and locked in place there. Does that feel okay? Yep. Do you get any tightness in this area? No, nope, feels fine right there. Everything okay here? Yes. Okay, how's the, going down the hamstring? That's fine too. So again, we're just going to work the same area, kind of glutes, hip rotators, 
media, squid minimus, TFL more toward the front. Hopefully over time if it loosens up we want to be able to get the knee here touching the table. But uh, the nice thing about the Sonic gun is uh, it's a lot less stressful on, on me because the, the other option would be that I have to use my hands and kind of palpate as I'm doing this, which is going to be more stress on my, my wrists and my fingers and hands. Uh, and I'd say using the massage gun is also a lot quicker than just because of the rate of vibration. Sorry, that was on the bone. You definitely don't want to be on the bone. That doesn't feel very good. I want to get that fleshy, fleshy stuff. But it is good to get near the bone where the tendon attaches the muscle to the bone. But not right on the bone. So sometimes I'll put my fingers on the bone just to cushion it or give it that buffer so I don't end up accidentally going right on the hip bone with the massage gun. go along the little bit of the sacrum, which is the bottom part of the spine that attaches to the hip, and then maybe along the, the crest of the hip that kind of goes up and over here, just to get the other attachment of the glute medius, or the other end of it. Sorry, I didn't go again. And then we're going to go a little bit lighter. What I do like about this is you can change the the power setting on it, so you can be a little more gentle in some areas than others, as well as I really like that um, it tells you how much battery life is left, which is really useful. I do have another massage gun, uh, which uh, only has one setting as far as power, and you have no idea when the battery is going to die, so if it dies on you and you haven't had a chance to charge it, you're kind of SOL without that tool to use. And I'd say the Sonic gun is way quieter than the other massage gun I have. Like, way quieter. The other one sounds like a jackhammer. And so for this muscle, the quadratus lumborum, or QL for short, I'm going over the, the top of the crest of the, at least the back half of the hip, or pelvis, that crest. Then along the outer part of the spine, maybe like an inch or two away from the spine. And then underneath the bottom rib, the lowest floating rib. And this usually works really well if someone has a lot of tightness toward the outer, the muscles in the outer uh, part of the low back away from the spine or in the side of the hip. help with some, some people with some posture issues or some pain issues, muscle tightness issues. I don't know if the camera is picking this up, but Kevin's knee is actually touching the table now, whereas before it was kind of floating a couple inches above, so it seems like things have kind of yep. loosened up a little bit. Yep, for sure. Okay, line your back real quick. Let's just see, how does that feel? Yeah, way easier than it was. Turn in. No pain? Nope. Any tightness sensation? Nope. So, again, just sometimes at least, I wouldn't say necessarily severe sciatica, but if someone's having like light to moderate, 
uh, this can be kind of a, a great tool to use, um, as well as just generalized tightness in the, the low back and hip, um, or even with some like IT band uh, issues. Treating it up at the hip where the muscles that connect to it are, as opposed to the IT band directly. Feel good? I do. Awesome. Yeah. Thanks.